Well, it is Thursday and I am back in the office after representing a client today in Warren County, New Jersey. Uh, tomorrow, like every Friday, we'll be coming out with our weekly e-update, which brings together all of our latest content. I came out with a blog today explaining drug classifications and scheduled drugs uh, for controlled substances and why that's so important if you're charged with a drug crime in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. I've written in the past that all drugs are not created equally, and that's very important when you're considering going to trial or possibly entering into a negotiated plea or an open plea with either the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania or the state of New Jersey. It's important to understand that in every drug crime, just like every gun crime, the first consideration that your attorney must discuss with you are pretrial issues like motions to suppress evidence for illegal search and seizure. That's a very strong defense that you have to consider in any possessory crime, because if your attorney is able to argue that the evidence is inadmissible for a violation of either the Pennsylvania or the New Jersey state constitution or the United States constitution, that can lead to the prosecution either being withdrawn for lack of evidence or the case being dismissed for lack of evidence. So that, that in that article, I detail the various types of controlled substances. I go into detail explaining what they are. I talk about narcotics. I talk about depressants. I talk about stimulants. All that's important for you to understand. And really your criminal defense lawyer must have a firm understanding of that. If you have questions about a drug crime in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. The website gambonelaw.com. You will find that article, all of my previous blogs, my books, my blogs, my videos, everything that I've ever written as a lawyer is available on that website in one complete format. Now, tomorrow, like every Friday, our e-update comes out. It goes out to over 3,000 of our current and former clients. It's a great resource. You can also sign up for the e-update on the website. So if you have questions, please give us a call. Please look for the weekly update. It's a great resource to have to go into the weekend. Please remember if you are charged, first of all, you are stopped for suspicion of either a drug crime or a gun crime or even a DUI. You do not want to give a statement to the officer. Remember, you're not obligated to speak to the officer. Don't be, don't be disrespectful to the officer. Don't physically obviously engage the officer that will do nothing to help your case. It will only lead to additional charges. But remember, remain silent, wait for an attorney to come in and, and argue the points I just described. Uh, a, a police stop is not an opportunity to engage in some legal discussion with the officer. They are simply not interested. So, so if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. 856-793-7429 in Jersey. Have a great Thursday and I will talk to you all soon.